my name is Cassie Biella. I'm a realtor here in San Antonio, Texas, and today we're going to give you my top five staging tips for selling your home. So let's get started. Number one, get rid of clutter. Clutter is one of those things that is just going to make your house look so messy. Even if it's very clean, if you've got little things just everywhere, it's going to feel really messy and it's going to feel smaller because the, if every surface has items all over it, that makes everything look smaller. It makes the whole room look smaller. So you want to clear up clutter. You want to um, almost go minimalist with your different furnishings and things. You want to have uh, clear countertops, cleared off tables, you know, maybe one or two items on a table or countertop just for staging, but you don't want to have too much stuff. Get rid of the stuff, box it up, put the boxes in the garage or in a storage unit and, um, and take your pictures and show your house. It will help a lot. Uh, tip number two is furniture. You need to have less furniture. Um, so of course, when we're, you know, getting furniture for our home to live in, we're thinking about comfort. We're making sure there's enough seats for everybody. We're making sure we can entertain and things like that. But when you're selling a house, you just want to make sure that the room looks big, right? You want to make the room look bigger than it is. You want to make the room look, um, like spacious, like it has plenty of, um, possibilities that people can do with it what they want. Uh, if you have a ton of furniture packed in, then it's going to make the room feel small and it's going to make it feel like it's hard to walk around and buyers aren't going to like that. Um, so one house that I was staging a couple weeks ago, they had um, a couch, a love seat, and two chairs kind of all around the middle coffee table. And what I did was I took out the couch and I just put the love seat and the two chairs. And that just totally changed the whole look of the room. It didn't look terrible before. It looked like a normal living room before. Um, but that just made it look a lot bigger in the photos. It looked huge. Um, and it just made it look like there was a lot of space. Um, and so definitely get rid of furniture that you don't need. Or again, put it in the garage, put it in storage, at least for the photos. And uh, make your rooms look bigger. Okay, number three, you want to give odd spaces a purpose. So all of our homes have them. You just have some little nook or you have some little corner of a room or whatever that you just, you kind of like, this was dumb. Like, why is this here? Um, this isn't really serving any purpose. It's just like wasted square footage. Um, you want to think about that, reevaluate that. Maybe you can make it into um, like not a full mud room, but like a mud uh, hallway, right? You can put some shelves and seating there, or maybe you can make it into like an exercise corner. Um, maybe you can make it into like a little reading nook. Find something and turn that, that disadvantage into a plus. Like it's not a bug, it's a feature, right? So you want to make make that have a purpose. So there's one floor plan in San Antonio in particular that has like this extra extra pointed room on to the master bedroom. And everybody I know that has that floor plan does not like that little space <laughs> because it's kind of just weird. It's not its own room, but it's not like open up to the master. And so what we did um, with some of my clients is we put yoga mats and weights and we made that like a little yoga exercise area and so that actually became like a selling feature like hey you've got your little like morning yoga area <laughs> so just be creative think of some different ways that you can do that okay number four this one's a big one the front door so the front door when buyers are looking the front door has way more importance than it should in buyers' minds. I guess because that's the first thing you see um, when you walk up to the home, but people tend to remember houses by their front door. So if I'm chatting with a buyer after we look at like seven or eight homes, they're gonna say like, oh, the one with the blue door or the one with the door that wouldn't open, remember? <laughs> so you wanna make sure that they remember it for a good reason. So repaint it. Um, most doors are scuffed and over time they get little dings and things. 
just repaint it. A fresh coat of paint will make it look so much better. Um, and then you want to, if possible, change the doorknob. So a lot of doorknobs over time, they become difficult to open. And if your realtor, from experience again, if your realtor is sitting there like jerking the key around and like having to jerk the door open and like use their shoulder to push open the door, like that's not gonna, that's not the way to start a showing. So if you've got a doorknob that's a little bit stuck or maybe a little bit old or rusted, just replace it. It's very easy to do. I actually have another YouTube video showing you how to replace a doorknob. Um, so look that up, change the doorknob out. It'll make it look so much better. Um, and then, you know, maybe put a flower pot, nice welcome mat, you know, just kind of dress it up, make it remember, rememberable, memorable. I know how to talk. All right, so tip number five, uh, I am refilming because I don't know what happened to the video, it got cut off. Uh, so <laughs> tip number five is that you want to have somebody who does not live in your home, who hasn't been there very often to walk through your home with um, a fresh pair of eyes. So your realtor would be a good person to do this, or you could just get a, a friend, um, just get somebody in who can walk through the home like buyers would. So, you know, when you live in a place for a long time, sometimes your eye kind of misses things that are there. You might not notice like those smudge marks on the door to the garage where everybody grabs the door. That might be something that you miss because you live there, you're used to it. Um, but somebody else might say, mm, maybe wipe down the door. Um, alternatively, there may be something that you think is like a really big deal. You might be like, oh, this corner of this room has this whatever. Um, and you, you might be really worried about it. And then your realtor or um, a friend that walks through your home might say like, I didn't even notice that. That's not a big deal. Um, so get somebody else, get a second opinion um, or a third opinion even, just get uh, people who don't live there to give you some feedback um, before you stage the home and list it for photos and buyers. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that those five tips will help you get the most for your home. And um, if you have any other ideas, please list them in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to hear your staging tips if you are a realtor as well. Um, let me know what I missed or wh where you disagree with me. I'd love that. Um, and uh, good luck on your sale. If you like this kind of content, then please make sure you subscribe, like the video and ring the bell, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.